Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 7. Now, when Shalomah had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of Yahuwah filled at the house. And the priests could not enter into the house of Yahuwah, because the glory of Yahuwah had filled at Yahuwah's house. And when all the children of Yashadael saw how the fire came down and the glory of Yahuwah upon the house, they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground upon the pavement and worshipped and praised Yahuwah, saying, For he is good and for his mercy endures forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifices before Yahuwah. And King Shalomah offered eth a sacrifice of twenty and two thousand oxen and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of Elohim. And the priests waited on their offices. The Leviim also with instruments of music of Yahuwah which David the king had made to praise Yahweh, because his mercy endures forever. When David praised by their ministry, and the priests sounded trumpets before them, and all Yashadael stood. Moreover, Shalomah hallowed at the middle of the court that was before the house of Yahweh, for there he offered burnt offerings and eth the fat of the peace offerings, because the brazen altar which Shalomah had made was not able to receive eth the burnt offerings, and eth the meat offerings, and eth the fat. Also, at the same time Shalomah kept eth the feast seven days, and all Yashadael with him, a very great assembly, from the entering in of Hamath, unto the river of Mitzrayim. And in the eighth day they made a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days, and the feast seven days. And on the three and twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent eth the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart for the goodness that Yahuwah had showed unto David and to Shalomah and to Yashadael, his people. Thus Shalomah finished at the house of Yahuwah and at the king's house and at all that came into Shalomah's heart to make in the house of Yahuwah and in his own house. He prosperously, he rather, he prosperously affected and Yahuwah appeared to El Shalomah by night and said unto him, I have heard at your prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal at their land. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears attent unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified at this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And as for you, if you will walk before me, as David your father walked, and do according to all that I have commanded you, and shall guard my statutes and my judgments, then will I establish at the throne of your kingdom, according as I have covenanted with David your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man, to be ruler in Yashadael. But if ye turn away 
and forsake my statutes and my commandments, which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other Elohim and worship them. Then will I pluck them up by the roots out of my land which I have given them, and eth this house which I have sanctified for my name will I cast out of my sight and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. And this house which is high shall be an astonishment to everyone that passes by it, so that he shall say, Why has Yahuwah done thus unto this land and unto this house? And it shall be answered, because they forsook at Yahuwah Elohai of their fathers, which brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, and laid hold on other Elohim, and worshipped them, and served them. Therefore has he brought Eth all this evil upon them.